Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swoosh and reviewing AMD. So this was a, this was a crazy options call, was a call that I called. This was a long that I called uh, yesterday, actually, that that end that dropped yesterday initially because I called the 165 calls yesterday. Gapped up this morning, took off like a rocket. So one of the things that I tell people is, don't kill trades. Again, some people kill trades, but if you killed this trade yesterday, you missed out on a huge trade here today. This is still rallying here in the post market tonight as we speak 4.30 on a Friday, which is nuts. Again, let me just get this off here a second. So, I mean, this just is unstoppable at this point. So it, it actually did get over 175. This was at 430. It had over 175.20. It was completely, completely, completely insane. But the day that I called this trade, again, this was an option. It was a call. And it opened yesterday at 166, dropped, fell, fell all the way down to 158 and changed, then gapped up here and ran up today. Remember, today is Friday. I really like this higher, though. I really liked it higher yesterday, meaning that's why I called the options trade. And I said, whether this goes today or not, it's neither here nor there because I called it out for the 26th, which is next Friday. I try to give myself a cushion of a week, a week or so. So it would have been too tight to do it today. But actually, if you did an expiration of today, yesterday on the 165 calls, that trade would have worked. <laughs> I think it's too too tight of a trade to call. Not that I never call something with the 24 hours, 48 hours like that, but that trade would have worked. This is completely ridiculous here where this went. And again, it got through 175 after hours. So the market was strong today, the market rallied. But I, I like this regardless. I like this either way. Did the market help this go to a much, much bigger number today? Maybe, maybe. But again, look at the strength here. This was early on. And then the breakout here in the afternoon was just a monster beast. I mean, we can compare it. If you want to compare it. Yeah, I mean, AMD was much, much stronger in the morning compared to the market right out of the gate. But it was up yesterday. This is still going out. To, to have something go like this after hours is pretty crazy. So this isn't something that I do all the time. It's not something that I watch all the time. I did happen to notice it yesterday. And again, while I prefer to short, I, I will go long. You can make money going long. I will go long. You could actually could have gone long this today as a day trade too. But again, at the price point here, it was cheaper to do as an option. You could still be in this trade. But if you get out of it today, you booked nice profits. Again, going to the weekend, not knowing what's going to happen on Monday. That would have been the conservative thing to do because this ran up again like a banshee. So congratulations to everybody that did this. Got a bunch of nice emails from people that did the trade. Again, it dropped back yesterday. The trade was down. I called the trade in the pre-market. So if you did the trade, you were down yesterday when it dropped, fell, dropped, ran down to 158, and then today it went. So when if you sign up for the newsletter, I always say to people, choose a risk. You can let the trades play out because I'm never going to change my mind about the gap. When I decide to, I'm going to do a trade, whether long or short, whether a put or a call, whether a day trade, or, or we're doing something out of the out of the open. I like the gap. I've rated the gap and met my qualifications and met my criteria. So I like it. That's why I called it in the first place. Whether it goes the second I want it to, or it takes time, whether it's a day trade where it takes like a little bit longer than a few minutes, maybe it takes an hour or so, or whether it's an option that takes 24 to 48 hours or even a week. It's not, not going to change my mind on the gap as long as the gap opens. Look at this. Look at this over 175 here. This is nuts. Anyways, I, I tell people to risk an amount. They can let every trade play out. So this was a nice bullish move. Again, somebody said a long time ago that they always do my bullish calls because I so rarely call them. And when I do, they're usually really, 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 really good. That's, that was, that's probably true because I'm very picky about longs, but I'm picky about shorts too. I'm picky about shorts too, but we don't go long as much as we go short, but we did go long this, so it worked. It was fabulous. Great job, everybody. We'll see where this goes next week. Have a great weekend. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the first class of 2024, exciting, is next weekend, 
the 27th and 28th. Have a great weekend, everybody.